Hello friends, welcome to another vlog. As usual, I start this video by telling you that I need to clean up my craft room. <laughs> um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you a few things. Um, hello to all the new people. If you are new here, please go down below and introduce yourself. I would love to meet you and know more about you. Um, I love my comment section. Um, currently the comment section from the video I put up last night is off the chain. Like, that's a lot of comments super fast. So I'm like, wow, okay. Um, I've been trying to keep up with them a little bit. I have been failing at that, so I've set aside some time tonight. After I get home from the movie, I'm gonna go see, um, with a friend of mine to go sit and do comments with you guys. So that should be fun. Um, thank you for all the love. Like, you guys are insane. Okay, what have I got? Okay, so the first thing that I got was I had, um, like, I met up with my bestie at a park where her kid was playing with a bunch of other kids. Nominally known as a play date. <laughs> and I had a little play date too, and she gave me my birthday present, in which she bought me this book, which I am floored by. It's beautiful. Um, it's soft cover, and I'll just flip through it real quick so you can see in case it's on anyone's list. Um goes over embroidery, ribbon embroidery it looks like, um, lace, just like all kinds of embellishments which look fun. So I thought that this would be good for inspiration purposes. I guess it was on my list. She said it was on my list. <laughs> my list has been around for a while so it's possible that I didn't even realize I put it on my list, but I am super glad I put it on my list, because, dang. Um, my other bestie, so we're three-way best friends, my other bestie has this Amazon list. I think she just, just annihilated it because she has a problem with Amazon at this point. Um, but it had stuff on there from, like, 2001, and she just kept adding the list but didn't really take anything off because she's like, no, I still want that stuff. So every year I would go through and buy stuff from the, like, beginning of her list, like her oldest things, and then some of the newest things that she wanted for her. <laughs> and that was actually really fun. Okay, so this is what this book looks like. I am super excited to dig into this. Once I have a better sense of what's going on in here, I will come back and do a full review. The next thing I have under here is a box that has... Um, truly Victorian patterns in it, so I thought I would show you what I got. Let me open the box. Alright, so we got um, Edwardian underwear. Um, this petticoat looks just beautiful. I kind of just want to make this and just wear this. <laughs> I probably could do that in this day and age. Trumpet skirt looked like fun. This is the 10 um, gore princess skirt that I want to try and make, and I have wool that I was thinking about making this skirt with. I'm not sure about the high-waistedness of it, but maybe it'll be awesome. Um, a blouse waist, because you yeah, can't have this skirt without a blouse waist. Although, knowing me, I will make this skirt and then I will wear it with t-shirts. Like Van Halen t-shirts. <laughs> okay, let's hope it's not Van Halen. <laughs> no offense to Van Halen lovers. Um, my husband is a Van Halen lover and a Van Hagar hater, so comments down below. Thoughts? Um, this is all the different kinds of belts that, um, you could wear in, with our guardian. Um, and then the 1905 circle skirt. Alright, now we've gone into Victorian times. Um, I got this bodice because I think the thing that goes under this... No, I don't. I have nothing on this. I think it was just one I didn't have, so I bought it. Um, want to make the cape. No lie. Evening bodice, possibly for my ball that I have to go to. I don't know about these sleeves. I am unconvinced that these sleeves are going to be something I'm into. So we'll see. Um, a skirt. This is not a necessarily a ball gown skirt, but it's a skirt, so there it is. <laughs> um, so I have the combinations, and I made those, and I violently hated them. So I'm going to look at making separates, um, so I did get a pattern for that. Um, yeah, and I would like them to be prettier than the ones I made before. Um, a petticoat with detachable train, but this is like from an earlier period, this is more natural form, but I would love to try a natural form, I'm into those, so 
I don't know that about natural form with my body type, but <laughs> what the hell? Let's give it a go. Um, a bell skirt, which is more like a ball gown skirt, so I think this might be the one. I'm not sure. Um, this also, like if I go for bustle-ish, I might be hitting it with this because this is vaguely apron front bustly kind of deal. If I could just pop a little bootay under there, we'll see. Um, <laughs> this is just amazing, so yeah. Um, who does not want this skirt? I mean, I think it looks awesome. Basically, when I say I hate the 1890s, I hate the top half of your body in the 1890s. No, I really like bustles way better. That's a lie. I do, I do like bustles way better. But I do, like, this skirt is amazing. But this would be, like, day wear. Um, I am not a fan of the huge sleeves of the late 1890s and the early 1890s also there are things about it that are okay and there are things about it that I really don't like um and then an 1886 evening bodice which is technically like too early for this but I might be able to use this to fudge something together we'll see question mark I'm not sure I do like that it has a little foofy butt on it though that makes me really happy so We'll see. I still don't have fabric. Um, this will give me an idea of how much fabric I need-ish. So, I mean, I think 10 yards would do no matter what. I'm going to go to the fabric district this weekend and see if I can find some silvery gray, maybe some burgundy, and definitely a lot of black um, silk taffeta. So, we'll see if I can actually locate that or not. Believe it or not, black silk taffeta is kind of hard to find, and if you find it, it's like $30, and I am unwilling to pay $30 a yard for 10 yards. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I did want to warn you all that this vlog is going to be a bit uh, random and chaotic. Um, I'm going to attempt to make something, hopefully a Regency bonnet, because the last time that I went to a Regency event, I had a bonnet that was on loan to me by the marvelous Lynn McMasters, and I have her pattern, and I can't keep borrowing her bonnet, so I gotta make my own. So um, I do have her pattern, and I have some fabric, I need to make sure I have the right amount of everything and that I have everything else I'm going to need. Probably if I don't, I'm going to have to order some stuff and then I'm going to have to make something else. But that's what I'm going to try to do. Hello, this is future Noelle butting in. I say in this video like 25 times that I'm going to make this bonnet in this video. That is a downright lie. It's not happening. I'm not making a bonnet in this video. I think I should title this video in which I do not make a bonnet. I think I will. Um, this This might lead you to understand the chaos that is my life though <laughs> because um yeah I don't get anything done this week I just basically don't so for those of you who love hearing me chatter on at you for an hour this is the video for you and for those of you who want to watch sewing probably not the video for you I will not be upset if you click off at this point <laughs> um but uh yeah <clears throat> I did a lot of fun stuff this weekend um and then I was sick for a couple days this week and then I desperately tried to get this bonnet done, or even started, and it did not work out, but that's okay. Um, but then also tomorrow, I am headed down to Southern California. I'm gonna have dinner with some friends. Saturday morning, I am going to get up and meet some of my friends who you guys might have met on my costuming trip. Uh, they're coming up from San Diego, and we are gonna go to the Fabric District, and then I'm gonna go to Disneyland in the evening with someone I met online, um, a friend of mine, and um, on Sunday I'm probably going to go to Disneyland again and meet up with another person that you guys all might know um, to ride the new Star Wars ride. And then I'm going to come back and finish whatever project I started. So <laughs> prepare yourself for some chaos in this vlog, but it should be exciting and fun. Also, I've had this for years. I don't even know where I got it. But I kind of want to open it and see what these are like and see if it's worth anything cool happening with it. So I thought I would share that with you. Okay, so this is what they look like. And I think this is one if you want to add your own. And this is like the title card. <laughs> I think these are fun. It says... Before starting any new project, one should always consult a higher authority, the Tarot of the Tailors. 
To find the answers and foretell the future, shuffle the cards face down into well mixed. Choose four or five cards and place them face down in front of you. If so compelled, you may wish to turn some of the cards top to bottom or bottom to top as you feel necessary. Turn the cards face up and see what they have to say to you. All right, I'm going to go shuffle these and we're going to run a bonnet question. See how that goes. All right, I have selected four cards. I'm going to flip them over and I'll tell you what the thing says about them. The bent pin. That seems ominous. The bent pin. Sometimes you think that you can cut those corners, leave out a step or two, put off fixing the machine, sharpening those scissors, or get away with that cheap lining. Facing either way, the bent pin lets you know that skimping will always come back to haunt you. Okay, noted. Let's do this one next. The expensive thread. I'm finding it. I have this, like, paper here that tells me what they all are. <laughs> Will your project be cost effective? The cost, or should it cost you more than it should? Right side up, this card warns you to watch out for materials that cost more than they should. Upside down, it tells you that you will find good value in an unexpected place. Yay. That's awesome. Oh, they're all going to be upside down. Okay, let me flip this one this way just so. What does this say? <laughs> the ornamental spouse. <laughs> that seems unlikely in my case. The, my spouse is not ornamental. He does not want to do costume things. Um, this card deals with relationship. Okay, so it says right side up. I'm going to read the upside down. Beware of someone or something whose looks are more important than their substance. This could be a very shallow relationship. Oh, that is not my husband. The right side up, the ornamental spouse portends a happy and prosperous relationship. A partner who never complains of the time or money spent on a project. That's actually my husband. This should be right side up. So this is actually how he is. He does not ever complain about it. He's like never even asked me how much something costs. I've told him how much stuff costs and he's like, whoa. But like, he's never complained about it. He's never said anything about it. There's never any conversation about it. The instant mend. Facing either way, this card says only one thing to us. Plan ahead. Accidents and disasters will happen. Make sure that you pack the safety pins. Oh no. Okay. I don't really believe in tarot cards, but <laughs> this was fun. Um, okay. So now we have our fortune told for our bonnet project. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, I did this little art project. I um, unceremoniously stole this idea from Marika from Enchanted Rose Costumes. So this is all her uh, and made like some awesome little apothecary jars, which I have a ton of in my bedroom. Um, I have like a little display that used to hold like Christmas ornaments and stuff all year round <laughs> um, to put a bunch of my ribbon in. I still have a whole basket of ribbon. I was hoping that all of it could go in here, but turns out these spools are a pain in the ass. So, <laughs> but I made this cute little thing, which I'm excited about because at least I get to look at my pretty ribbon now. Okay, I think I got things tidier in here. There is a lot of patterns to put away. I think some of these are ones I need to do reviews on. Some of these are ones I was like intending on using for something, so I got to go and inspect that. Um. I also have this like a top hat that I'm like, I don't really know what to do with it. It's probably got to go in my garage. I got to figure out my garage situation. These are like random Christmas presents that didn't need to go to anybody and some random thing. So <laughs> I should put all that away. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Completely ignoring all that. Uh, this is the pattern from Lynn that I am going to use. Um, are you going to focus? Cool. Um, for this bonnet. This is the hat. This is actually the hat that I borrowed. Um, this is Lori and this is Lori in the hat. <laughs> I'm like, let me put my finger on Lori's face. Um, <laughs> Lori Tavin. Um, anyway, um, she is also a friend of Lynn's. Um, so she's modeling this hat here and it's actually, I think made out of possibly the same silk, which does not look the same on my viewfinder as it does in person. Um. Oh, there's something interesting in here. Uh, this is from Renaissance Fabrics, and I think this is, she said, it's a lot lighter. 
I'm like more frosty in person than it is right here on this camera, um, as far as I can tell. Um, so she did have this like beautiful stripey, um, like tie situation that I thought was beautiful. I don't have any like contrasting fabric so I think I'm gonna just make it out of this which I have like two yards and I think I need a half a yard or something and then um, I was gonna put just like white linen for the inside for the lining um, so it keeps my head nice and cool because my head always gets hot and then um, I will just make like a ribbon situation out of this also and then if I find something better I'll put it on but I need this hat for like I think mid-February so Although, I don't know that the lunch thing I'm going to is indoors, so maybe I don't need a hat. Well, I want to make this hat anyway. <laughs> maybe what I need is a turban um, for indoors. Um, so maybe I'll have to figure that out. Um, and maybe a new Spencer. Should I make a new Spencer? Should you wear Spencer to a brunch that's indoors? Is that a thing? I don't know Regency etiquette. People who know Regency, let me know. If I'm going to a beautiful brunch at like a nice mansion indoors on a Sunday do I do I still wear a Spencer can I wear my day dress and a Spencer because I don't really have anything else I'm gonna wear my day dress let's put it that way so should I think I should wear a Spencer what do you guys think let me know let me know in the comments <laughs> um, I'm probably not gonna do too much on this but read the directions today because I have um, an appointment with a friend of mine pretty soon and we're gonna go out to see a movie it's an animated movie about spies <sighs> Do I know what the name of that is? That's so annoying when I do this, huh? Um, let's see, what does she say? Spies in Disguise. So I'm gonna go see that. Why am I pointing this at you? I also need to like pack for my trip tomorrow because I'm not packed at all and I need to find and like figure out the wind protection thing for this camera because the other one has a fuzzy on it. Oh, I can show it to you, it's right here. See, this? it has a fuzzy thing on the top that protects it from wind noise um, and I wanna put I have more of these and I want to put it on this camera that I'm filming on um, so that when I go outside or Disneyland or whatever it has protection I think at some point I want to go to Disneyland with my GoPro and like strap it to myself and then ride all the rides I think that'd be fun um, but my Disneyland videos don't go over very well like they are by far the lowest viewed videos so there are some of you who absolutely love those videos and some of you who are just like not sewing content no and I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I might still make them anyway. Because they're fun for me, and they're also... So the channel is, like, for you guys, but it's also for me. The channel also serves a purpose for me in that um, it's, like, a, a, a diary, a memory situation. So later I can go back and look at stuff or refer people to things or whatever, so... Sometimes I make comment that... Uh, comment? Sometimes I make content that doesn't go over that well, and... Hey, that's okay. Not everything has to be the best. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I'm just gonna like look over the directions on this guy and see how they they look. Um, luckily, she has this crazy chart because there's a lot of hats in here. Like, there's a lot of hats on the front of this. All these hats right here, down here. But she has a chart that tells you, like, if you liked that hat, this is this hat with this brim. So, yay, <laughs> yay, Lynn. So I'm going to figure this out and like try to do the math on this, but I'm probably not going to work on it until next week. Um, I need fabric and lining and buckram and mulling and hat wire and I have all those things, so I think I'm good to go on this. The one thing I don't have is thread, so I do need to go out and get silk thread that is this color-ish. So maybe I'll do that at some point soon. We'll see. I, I'm gonna be the person who's like running around downtown LA trying to find oh maybe I should take a cutting of this and see if I can find a complimentary fabric while I'm down there in the fabric district like in two days <laughs> uh, I crack me up with like <laughs> how little I'm like oh yeah I should totally do that that thing that's super obvious that you should do Noel. okay so <laughs> that's that's what's gonna happen here um yeah I will oh don't think about it. Don't think about it. Okay, I'm like, I have this other fabric that's like an Asian fabric that would be so beautiful with this yellow, but I don't think it goes with the Spencer I want to wear. And I don't know if I'm going to wear that Spencer. And I don't know if I should wear a Spencer because I haven't heard back from you. 
I gotta get this video up is what has to happen. Okay, thanks. Okay, I've arrived at the Warner Center Marriott, which has done some weird things to the rooms. This yellow light, great for filming. The rest of the light is actually not bad though. It's like super purple. But like you can see how yellow this is compared to that. Um, they have laminated the entire floor, which I'm just like, but why? Why would you do that? Um, these are the rooms here at Costume College. Um, although I'm not at Costume College and that is the weirdest thing because it's not Costume College and <laughs> there's not a million people walking around and that's what I'm used to seeing in this hotel. Very strange. Bed chat time. So I'm just waiting for my friends to go ahead and get off work and then get changed and come over for dinner. Um, I guess we're gonna eat somewhere close to here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film or not, probably not. It's just dinner, it's not that interesting. Um, <laughs> but we, I am excited about going to the fabric district tomorrow. Uh, the person who does not need fabric needs fabric, which is weird. But I don't have any black silk taffeta and that is what I wanna make my gown out of, so I'm here. Maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't. But I do have other things like that are on my list. Um, a couple other people have asked me to pick up some stuff up for them and then I have some stuff that I'm just generally grazing for. If I don't find them, it's fine. But if I do find them, cool. What else? Um, oh, I have white silk for that bonnet. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, so I talked to my friend who is from the Jane Austen Pineapples and she knows her Regency Jam. And she said that it is totally cool for me to wear a Spencer and a bonnet to an indoor brunch situation. What is up with my hair? Um, so if anyone wants to dispute that, feel free. I do think I should like learn Regency hair stuff. So maybe I'll do some of that. I have curls to stick in the front of my head. Um, so that, that should be fine. Um, yeah, so. I think I'll probably be cool and I'm gonna make that bonnet when I get home. I was just thinking like, oh, I have, I do have some white silk somewhere that I could use for the lining. I think I'm still gonna use linen. I think it'll be better because you don't really see the lining um, and it'll keep my head cooler. Anyway, <laughs> I will deal with that on Monday or Tuesday probably. Um, what else is going on? Um, yeah, so tomorrow Fabric District and then Disneyland, so it's gonna be like kind of frenetic day. Should be super fun. I am excited about it and I'm excited about meeting new people. Um, so, fun times. See you guys later. We're in the Fabric District. This is Taylor. Hi. Uh, <laughs> she is what? TS.costumes? Yes. On Instagram. I will link her down below. Thank you. Uh, are you looking for anything in particular today? Not today. I'm just perusing. All right. I am on a mission. Any black silk taffeta? I need not a lot for me and for other people, but also it's good to have that on hand, just generally. Um, I also want, I have a yellow bonnet to make and I would love some contrasting fabric, but also maybe in that yellow, oh, it's a nightmare. Um, and then Marika wants silk satin. So we're gonna go quest. I will update you if anything actually happens. Oh, my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Ice cream cart, Splendia. Oh, and this stuff. I always buy these, and then I eat like five pieces of it, and I can't anymore. Okay, that's what's happening. See you in a bit. <laughs> Does anyone need a Muslim? <laughs> oh, all my friends who are Muslim are probably like, what? <laughs> nice. Why do I love this? Oh, I want to make a Dickens dress out of it, and I've never wanted to make a Dickens dress before. I hate 1850s. Ugh. It's cute. We're in home fabrics, in case you can't tell. Um, the guy was telling me all the silk in here is being discontinued, which is making me super stressed out because I don't want to spend a million dollars, but I'm having a feeling that that's going to happen. So we'll see what the damage is. Should I buy this? Leave your comment down below, by the way. This will be past tens for you, so your comment won't matter. Love you. I did not buy that. But I'm parked near it, so I can go back and get it later. <laughs> I 
Now we're near a wall of fur. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be good because I have an entire year to like budget for. You know, I don't come over on this side very often. Let's see what's down here. Um, so trying not to break the bank, if you know what I mean. But oh, why do I want this all the time? I can't. <laughs> There's nothing. I'm I'm not gonna be the sea creature that needs that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to be good, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> I might break and go back for that later. I'm not sure. Ooh, that purple situation over there is cool. I wonder what that is. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to keep looking around. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I feel like you two right now. All right, we have one small victory, which is that I found Marika's fabric. And I called her and I showed it to her. You want to be on camera, sir? Um, I think that was a no, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> well, hand signals are not the way to communicate. Um, okay, so I got Marika's fabric, so that makes me super happy because that's less pressure on me now. I also did find black silk taffeta, but it was $17 a yard, but now I'm just going to go buy it all because <laughs> there is no more. Everything else in this damn place is poly. And I want it, and I need it, and yeah, so that's what's happening. <laughs> We're going to go spend a ridiculous amount of money. If I could make that emoji, that's like, I would do that right now. Um, so they had black silk taffeta at one store exactly, and it was $17, but I talked them down to $16.50. Well, it was $18, and I talked them to $16.50, and then... Um, ooh, water. Okay, yeah. I'm distracted by water, guys. Um, so he had 25 yards on him, and there was no other black silk taffeta anywhere, so I just bought all of it. Because you never know when you're going to need it, or your friend's going to ask you for it, or whatever, so that's what happened. And I bought a little bit of gray, um, like super slubby dupioni, um, because I might incorporate a little bit of gray into my. I'm not sure there's another gray fabric I also got and some white from for Morgan and I also got some cotton long lawn and some cotton wall for foil wall 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 walls a fun word just say wall over again wall 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 I sound like um, trap music um, anyway so um, yeah so I got some of that so I can make various things um so overall very successful now we are waiting for jackie and joe to get here so that we can buy bathing suit fabric and we're getting some water because we need water so that's what's happening all right i have located dr joe and dr jackie <laughs> Hello. everyone who saw my vlogs from my trip might remember them <laughs> we are we fondly, absolutely fondly. We are on, whoa, look at this. Um, we are on a mission to get swimsuit fa fabric to do swimsuits for a costume college. Yeah, the pool should be party, amazing. man. Pool party. Should be amazing. Yeah, but this one's better. Oh, yeah. They are currently looking at these fabrics. Do we have the red? It's the only one that's missing. Find the red, yeah. It doesn't have to be necessarily. Okay, we had mission success yeah. with our wow. bathing suit situation and our jacket situation that we needed. And now we're in this place called Target Trims, which I've never actually been to because it's farther down the street than I've ever come. But this is amazing. Just all the things. Do you need trim? Because it's here. Target Trims, peeps. Target Trims. Oh my goodness, oh, it just keeps going. Nothing, yeah. Okay, now we're going to dinner at this brew cup pub at the um, Los Angeles Union Central train station. Maybe. Uh, we have a cheap Disneyland. Uh, <laughs> I was like, we're gonna have dinner here, and then just didn't film. <laughs> 
is what we do when we're just having dinner with our friends, so fun times. Um, anyway, I'm about to get on the tram to go to Disneyland. I've never been on the tram, like I've been on it from here, but like this whole structure is different and new since I've been here last, which is crazy. So um, I'm excited to try this. It's kind of a mess last time, you had to get on it back over there and you had it was like all impromptu and not good so they built something official now um, so just a quick security check and then I'm in and hopefully I will find my friend Hannah and we will have a good time at Disneyland tonight Yay! This is my favorite spot in the whole park. I love this statue so much. It's like my favorite thing. been on Big Thunder. Big Thunder and Pirates. And pi pi hi, focus. Auto focus, what's up? Okay, um, and now we are in a not very moving line for Indiana Jones, which should be fun times. Quality content, people. You're getting hallways. This is a great queue. Slimy walls. Snakes, why is it gotta be snakes? Christmas, my good 
gave to me thirteen rings of power, embracing strength that never ends. Of life. Say goodbye to me. Say goodbye to these. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch How I Met Your Mother? Do, have you seen How I Met Your Mother? No. Okay, I'll tell you that joke in a minute. Um, so, um, anyway, I'm gonna go to see Becky and Craig because they have a Great Dane puppy and I'm gonna go play with that puppy and sleep at their house instead of going home. So, more fun to come. Plans have changed. See you guys soon. Here you go. Thank you. Hello. It's like several days later. <laughs> I got home from that trip on Monday because I went to Becky and Craig's house um, the, on Sunday. So I drove home like basically all day Monday and then we went to see Jojo Rabbit and that was awesome. Um, although unexpected and weird and like I thought it was really well done and I'm glad I saw it but I still don't know what I think about it <laughs> kind of situation. The movie... Like, I saw an interview with Scarlett Johansson and she said, someone asked her, like, what type of movie it is, and she's like, I do not know how to explain this movie and I'm in it. <laughs> and I was like, huh? Um, yeah, so I understand that statement now. It is a very odd movie. Um, I, I don't, I really don't like war movies and it's it's definitely a fun with Hitler movie, And but there's, like, a legitimate war scene in the end, so just trigger warning for anyone who doesn't like war movies. Um, my husband was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. Um, but yeah, it, it was crazy. Anyway, um, Tuesday and Wednesday I just had a lot of stuff to do and also I wasn't feeling very well yesterday so I did a lot of napping and resting and stuff so I think this video is gonna be late. <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody cares when I put this video up. I mean, I'm sure there are people who are like, it's Thursday, Noelle, and it is what it is. I'll get it up when I get it up. So, um, that's the, uh, like theme for this year is... It's gonna be whatever it's gonna be. 
Um, so I'm gonna make this hat, this bonnet. Um, I looked up a picture of, and I'll put it here, of the bonnet as I was wearing it, but Lynn had given me, and it is mostly striped. So this bonnet isn't gonna look exactly like that. I'm just gonna make a yellow bonnet, because I think it'll go, and it'll be fine, and it is what it is. So, but I would really like to make a bonnet that goes with this outfit, so I have something to wear to this thing that I have to go to. I don't, I don't have to do anything, but I get to go to, um, with some friends of mine in February. Do you guys know Sarah from La Dauphine Costumes? I will link her down below. She is amazing and a riot act and like just the coolest chick. So anyway, she invited me to go to this thing. So I'm going to go to this thing. Um, so I need a bonnet. I don't even know. Um, I did talk to one of my other friends who's like my Regency expert um, and she said that wearing a bonnet indoors is completely fine and also the Spencer I have should be just fine too although people may take them off. I don't know I'm just gonna leave it on. Anyway um, I got a new mini iron for Christmas which I never talked about. I had one and then it died so I got a new one um, from a friend of mine for Christmas. My my boss, actually, who was my boss, um, got me this. Um, so I'm really pumped to, to get this out and about and play with it, too, which I might need for this project, so we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi again, since it's been so long, even though I'm in the middle of a video. Um, and I'll start working on this bonnet shortly. Um, I'm also working on those controversial topic videos. Um, I'm having a hard time separating them, because I feel like gatekeeping which is to say is that historically accurate um and fiber content video and fast fashion video and whatever they're not all the same topic but they kind of like snake into one another um a lot so i filmed a whole rant probably not gonna put that up i'm probably gonna listen to what i said and then try and like translate that into a calm and collected human speech situation because <laughs> i think i was just mad um so so that it's understandable and legible and something I want to have on my channel for years to come. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how to separate those into three videos and I'm like maybe I don't need to. Maybe I just make it a three part series in which I talk about all the things. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen yet. But I'm filming that because um, I have thoughts on all of those things. Most of which is like be kind to the planet but also calm the hell down. Like everybody chill out. <laughs> um, there's no need to get pissy at one another. Um, so, um, that's a goal for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm having a bit of a, a, a brain fart with that. I'm, I'm actually kind of wondering if I could like take this second camera, which by the way, I have a second camera now, which I forgot about and like time lapse the bonnet making while I talk about this stuff, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Anyway, that's a lot of blathering you guys don't need to know about, but that's what's what. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get out the instructions and look at it and like maybe press this fabric and like figure out what else I need I'm pretty sure I have all the things I need to make this thing. So should be fine You guys one thing that you get with age you think you can procrastinate now? Mmm, I got 40 years of practice on procrastinating <laughs> like you would not believe I filmed that last clip like three or four hours ago Just three or four hours like so long. Have I done anything on that? Nope, not at all um, <laughs> I talked to Christine for a while, I talked to Bernadette for a while, like, I went and got some packing materials because I have certain things I need to send to certain people that I got them in the fabric district, so like, and now I realize I can't even start sewing now if I wanted to, I have to procrastinate some more because I don't have yellow thread, especially silk thread, so I gotta go to the store and get some yellow thread, so. I'm going to the store to get some yellow thread. I'll be right back. I think I should legitimately call this vlog not making a bonnet. I did package up all these packet. Wait, wait, how am I gonna point? Okay, all these packages right here. I, I packaged those up. <laughs> They're actually all going to, well, some of them are going to costumers, so. Um, some of them have sweet little fabric treats in them. If you know who you are, you know who you are. Um, anyway, I actually get to get one more package because I am short one. Bummer. Um, so I'll probably go out and do that later. But I was just like, wow, I'm really good at procrastinating. Why don't I want to just do this? Like this, I don't think this is going to take that long. Like what the hell, Noel? I'm being productive. 
at least like the last few days have been just like me laying around so I'm being productive but yeah no sigh and this is the third time I'm trying to film this clip rad <laughs> Okay, I give up. I already have 50 minutes of footage. Um, I have not even started this bonnet yet. Well, I did start it, but it's not happening in this vlog. It's just not. Uh, this vlog is just going to be chaos. And that is fine. I'm totally okay with that. Um, so I started this. Oh, by the way, it's the next day again. Because I started this yesterday. And I got super confused as to what I was supposed to do. And I didn't understand. And so I sent a message to Lynn and she was like, this is a Lynn McMaster's pattern. And she was like, oh yeah. Um, and I was like, I get why, why this is so confusing, but I just need to know what to do. So she was like, call me. And so I called her and she walked me through the whole thing. And I was like, okay. And then we discussed like options about the bonnet and she was talking about things I had never even considered. So yeah, that was a very useful conversation for me, but like definitely not gonna happen in this vlog <laughs> i'm gonna do it i'm gonna start it today but there's too much footage already for me to also add a bonnet to also i was gonna use the cream from from watson because her bonnet was cream and yellow but obviously you can see here this cream looks like tan compared to this yellow against the brown it looks totally creamy but next to the yellow it looks tan so i'm just like no so i have some white silk so i'm gonna use white as like the inside brim so that there's not yellow right next to my face and also maybe as part of the decoration so we shall see how that goes i am very excited to find out um what else <laughs> oh yeah i was gonna tell you guys the story like this is my life now this is just how my life is like it's chaos all the time like like this weekend was kind of chaos you saw this weekend coming up is going to be kind of chaos like it's friday so that starts now um tomorrow is the gbacg open house uh i will probably bring you guys so you guys can see some of that um and then on sunday my friends and i are going to go to the Tissot museum and uh, sorry the legion of honor museum to see the so exhibit so i'm probably saying that name wrong if i am feel free to yell at me um <laughs> anyway um i'm very excited about going to that so but I don't know how I get anything done when I have a job because I don't have a job and everything is just chaos all the time like today it is or about five o'clock um so I woke up at like 11 I dealt with social media for like two hours because that's also my life now like I get so many dms every day it's nuts and like I answer I I answer youtube comments actually not nearly as much as I used to I answer them all but I do it in like batches so I spend four or five hours one day just answering a lot of them. This one I was really, really bad on the last video. I feel really bad about that. It took me a long time. Um, but people are so understanding, so I know. I know not to pressure myself, don't worry. I don't, I just, I'm like, well, it is what it is. And I was a Disneyland, so deal with it. Um, so uh, anyway, yeah, um, I dealt with social media and like people chatting with me for like two hours. And then I went to the post office and I had to mail five packages. Let's just actually say four packages and one envelope. Three of the packages went international. I stood at the teller counter for a whole hour. Like I looked at what time my friend texted me and that was like right when I walked up and it was an hour before I left. I was actually live texting Constance the entire time. It was really funny <laughs> because the woman was crazy. She was just like, how do you spell your last name? And I'm like, okay, it's, you know, I spelled it out and then also, it's written on all of these packages, like right in front of you. <laughs> like, just copy it from here. You're like, also, here's my driver's license. You can look here. She's like, no, 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 just spell it for me. Should we spell it like three or four times for every package because they're international ones. I have to type in all the stuff. <sighs> she couldn't read my handwriting, but I was like, it's pretty clear. Like, no one else seems to have a hand a handwriting problem with like, especially when I put address labels on and stuff. Um, and then she was asking me these like totally bizarre questions. Like, she didn't know what Canada was. Like, I'm like, our neighbor to the north friends above us the like awesome thing that exists north of you know like no and she's like oh Canada and I'm like yeah and then um what is it she was like I was sending my friend um some tea and she is like what is tea like it was on the the custom form she's like what what do you mean by tea and I'm like you know tea and she's like can you explain that I'm like no it's it's a lifestyle like it's 
plant matter like I don't know you put it in water she's like oh is it liquid I'm like no it's just tea and she's like I don't understand and I'm just like when our country gets angry we throw it into the sea that is the smallest form of how to describe what this is is it just is tea and she's like can you be more descriptive and I'm like no it's tea like what what and then and then fabric I was sending fabric to Marika what is fabric? Mm, like material? Uh, your clothes are made out of it? She's like, oh, it's clothes. I'm like, no, it's not clothes. And she's like, I'm like, it's what clothes are made out of. She's like, like, I'm like, cotton, you know, just cotton, fabric. Sheets are made out of it. Fabric things are made out of fabric. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe that any smaller. Like, I'm, I've re reduced this statement to like the minimum amount of I can't explain what fabric is any smaller than that. I'm like, plant fibers? She's like, you're sending a lot of plants. I'm like, oh, there's no actual plants. Okay. Like, <laughs> so I was live texting Constance and, um, oh, and then her, her like ticket, her like little sticker machine that she makes the stickers to put on the packages broke. And I was just like, oh shit. And then she pulled the machine out and then all the stuff on the thing on the counter went flying. And I was like, oh man. So I stood there for like 10 minutes while she fixed all that and like figured out how to reload the sticker machine, which was by the way, a nightmare. And then one of the stickers, like the last sticker to come out where she figured out the machine needed a new sticker tape was broken in half. And so she was like meticulously trying to paste it back together to like stick it up, stick it on the receipt form or whatever. I was just like, oh my God, an hour guys, an hour. <laughs> so like, when I say I don't know what happened to my day, it's stuff like that. Like where you go to the post office and it takes me like 15 minutes to get there and 15 minutes to get back. So I spent an hour and a half of my day, like, I mean, two hours of it goes to like social stuff immediately. And then an hour and a half goes to something I thought was gonna take 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. It's cr okay, I thought it was gonna take longer than that because it, it takes me time to drive there. But like, honestly, like, Honestly. Anyway, I'm like, never again, Manjeet. Her name was Manjeet. I'm just like, nobody knows where I live, so that's not calling her out, I hope. Anyway, never again, Manjeet. <laughs> I'm gonna let other people go in front of me. Like, I will take the girl next to me who helped like 18 people. Like, I started counting after like a lot of time had passed, and she had she helped 18 more people before I left, and I was just like, oh, and there was only two tellers, and the line was out the door. Fun times. I'm like, I don't know what I did wrong. I filled out the form before I got to the thing. I like I stood off to the side. I didn't even get in line. I filled out all the forms. I had everything very clearly labeled. None of it was complex. There was only like one or two things in every box. So there was not like a huge itinerary list of things. All the things were super basic like tea and fabric. Like this is not complicated. Cool. Cool. That's my day. Anyway, this is my life now. It's just utter chaos and there's no actual sewing. And the whole point of me taking time off was to sew more. I sew less now. Rad. Anyway, I'm gonna put this bonnet in another video, the next one that I'm gonna start in five seconds. I have a cup of Marco Polar tea from Mirage Flare. Mirage Flare. I can't even probably say that right, but it is delicious. Like, in my Haunted Mansion mug. Um, I'm like, can we get to the Haunted Mansion? There it is. It's a Disneyland Starbucks mug. Um, that was, those are rare, actually. Um, so, you can get them on eBay, though. eBay is the, like, source. If you miss something, it's on eBay. Don't worry. Like, all my friends are like, oh yeah, I forgot about eBay. I'm like, how could you forget about eBay? It's the best thing ever! <laughs> um, they're a little bit more pricey, but at least you can get it, right? And you don't have to pay admission to Disneyland to get it. So it's still pretty cheap, actually. Um, anyway, I'm gonna drink my tea and calm the heck down because that was crazy. Um, and then I'm gonna start working on this bonnet now that I haven't walked through it. Like, not all the way, but pretty good. I feel like I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's gonna be next video. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Like, for those of you who like to watch me because you're sewing and you just want someone to chat at you for an hour while you sew, this is the video for you. Everybody else, I apologize. I should film a clip for the beginning of this and be like, Look, there's no sewing in this, so don't don't get excited. <laughs> I think I will. Okay, <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you got to the end, give it a to the end. Um, what are you guys reading? What are you watching? What are you listening to? I finished Harry Potter. Woo woo! Um, roulette landed me on the four hour work week. I don't like him. That's what I'm gonna say about that. 
I like I don't like his presentation I think it, I would feel better about this book if I was reading the book instead of the audiobook because I just don't like him like I think he's kind of a dick frankly um, and maybe that's how he can have a four-hour work week is he's gonna be a dick and I don't subscribe to that theory but um, uh, some of his tips are amazing actually so I will give it that I think probably what I'm gonna do is try to listen to other things like get through a section and then listen to another thing and then get through a section and listen to another thing because I think I'm gonna need a break from him because it's just like he's kind of a drill sergeant he's just like this is how you do it this is what you do you do not compromise and I'm just like whoa like calm down buddy <laughs> but I get it he has he has great like concepts like everybody says that this is a life-changing book um so maybe I wouldn't read social media for two hours when I it's not even social media like I'm not looking at Instagram profiles I am reading DMs of people sending things directly to me maybe I will stop doing that no I don't want to stop doing that that's the thing it's like that's kind of the part of my day I like is talking to you guys so I mean I don't want to invite a million more DMs because I don't got time for that but like if you actually have something important to say I want to read it right so <sighs> Yeah, there's gonna be compromises in my life <laughs> okay um by the way all that's gonna have to stop if i ever get a job again because like i can't <laughs> it's too much um but we'll see where we are then okay i think you guys are awesome i hope you're having a great day you're killing it in your life for all of you, those of you who are down right now like people tell me all the time that they read my instagram profile and it's helping them because i'm mostly like hey you got this so for you guys on youtube hey you got this <laughs> you can get that project done don't worry um, I believe in you. It's not that hard. It's really, you, you'll, it's in your head. Um, yeah, so keep going. Um, and leave me comments down below. Let me know how you're doing. I will answer your comments in <laughs> five minutes to five days from now. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.